Hi everyone, it's Kirchi. For this Polly Pocket showcase, I'm going to be showcasing the very first vintage Polly Pockets that were ever released. These are the square compact sets from 1989, the year I was born. And these are the classic square shape that we've all come to know and love over the years. Traditionally starting with a pink one, but we have three here, so I'm just going to pick the pinkest pink, I guess, which is this one. I don't actually remember which one this is, so we're going to see it in just a minute. But first, I want to go over the exterior. Pardon my fingerprints. I just put lotion on my hands. So this comes in the classic square shape, and these are one of the first Polly Pockets that were ever released. Over here, we can see the year, which is 1989. I also fully restored all the logos, so they're very shiny and golden. And now let's open her up. And what do you know, we got Party Time Surprise. I have showcased this before, along with the Party Time Surprise Keepsake Collection, which is the first keepsake collection that Mattel has been releasing this decade. For all of us nostalgic folks who want to relive the vintage Polly Pocket beauty. So I do have that video up on my channel if you want to see the comparison, but since this is a new showcase, I'm going to go over it again. As the name says, we have a party theme. Right away we get this door that swings open, which is one of my favorite parts of any Polly Pocket compact. We walk in and see a table filled with food and a birthday cake right in the middle. And people did point out when I showcased this before that you're supposed to press this and it's supposed to play music. However, this one doesn't actually Actually work. I don't think this particular set that I got plays music. The button doesn't even press all the way, so I think this is just one of the sets that doesn't play music. Maybe I got a dud set, I don't know. But we are moving on. Lots of snacks and sweets. And over here, we have tons of presents. And in this big present here, we have a compartment. And this is also where the speakers are, because if this is supposed to play music, it comes out of these speakers. And on this side, we have little birthday cards. Then on the second level, we can see a dance floor and also some of Polly's house. Over here, we have a DJ booth. And here is a dance platform that we can spin. Beautiful party decoration in the background. And up here is Polly's bedroom and bathroom, which are also decorated. She really decorated the whole house for her birthday. I've never known anyone to do that. Here we see her bed. There's just a cute little window and a plant for decoration. And you have your commonly found bathroom items, toilet, sink, mirror. And here is Miss Birthday Polly herself. She also comes with a tutu, which I don't have in the set. Actually, I don't remember if I have it and I threw it away because I just don't like those little cloth things or if it didn't come with one. I want to say I don't think it came with one, but she is so cute. I love her outfit. She has this pink top with puffy sleeves, silver headband, silver shoes. She is just beautiful. And then we have her little yellow teddy bear. So tiny and cute. Now on to our next pink one. And this one is called Wild Zoo World. I really love this because I've said it time and time again that I love getting animal compacts with lots of animal figures. So down here we have several animal habitats. We don't have a little door that we open, but we have this bridge, which is above this little river filled with fish. So we go over the bridge and let's head over to the polar bear habitat. Here is an ice cave where the polar bear lives. We also have a little dolphin here just hanging out. And in the cave, we can just see some rocks and plants. And on this side, we have a little enclosure and the fence is made of little wooden posts. And then we have this little plateau area where we can get up to the second level. And here we have a jungle. Here's another little cave and we can see some vines and grass lots of other vines throughout this compact. I love it. It looks like Jumanji. Here are more little animal friends. We have a giraffe. I'm not sure what this is. I want to say, is it a bobcat? And then we have a parrot. And here we have a little canopy for Polly to sit and look at all of the beautiful animals. We also have little pegs here so our monkey figurine can hang. Although I don't approve of zoos and keeping animals in enclosures, I'm just gonna suspend my disbelief and say that the animals here are very happy, they're free, they're not being held against their will. And here is Polly. She takes very good care of all the animals 
and totally doesn't force them to be there and doesn't force them to perform any tricks. She's got a pink top with blue shorts and orange shoes. And she also has her hair in a ponytail. We have this gorgeous elephant figurine. By the way, all of these have been repainted and varnished with gloss because I like all my figures to look super shiny and brand new. So here is Miss Elephant. She's a pretty good size too and she's a little bit heavy. Then we have our monkey friend and his stance allows you to put him on those little pegs that I just showed. I love his tail. It's super creative how it's a monkey's tail, but it's also a hook so he can hang around in the compact. And then we have our polar bear friend and he is made of a little fuzzy felt material. And apparently some sets come with another little polar bear and a penguin, but this set did not come with one. However, it is considered complete according to my sources. And now we are on to the third pink one. This one is called Polly World and it is a theme park. We can see the giant roller coaster here. Again, we don't have a gate, but we do have these two open roller coaster seats, I believe. And right in the middle is a beautiful park. I love those colorful cobblestones and all the flowers and green grass. It just looks so peaceful and beautiful. And then we have two yellow benches. And over here we have a little concession stand where we can buy our tickets, maybe some snacks. And over there we have a picture of a castle. It kind of reminds me of Disneyland, which I think is what they're going for. Then we have this giant track which loops all the way around the upper level of the compact. And then we have this blue track, which I don't think is part of the purple track. This may be some sort of slide, but here is the rest of the roller coaster. We can pull this down to complete the track so that it connects from the lower level to the upper level. And here we have a couple of coaster cars that we can spin around. And here's more garden scenery to make it beautiful. We also have the staircase that continues to the other side. So I really love the continuity here. Here is Polly and this is actually one of my favorite Polly's just because she's super pink and she's holding balloons. She just looks so happy and fun and we don't often get to see her holding things this big. Normally it's like a super tiny baby bottle or whatever because she's always babysitting. But here she's got some pretty good sized balloons. And then we have this little coaster car that we can put on the track so she can ride the roller coaster. And she fits very snug in there. She's not falling out. And we are done with the pink ones, so now we are moving on to this bright orange compact. This one is called Polly's Townhouse, and this looks like such a cute little apartment or, well, it does say townhouse. I don't know why I said apartment. I guess it just has that apartment cozy vibe, and I am loving the color scheme. I love the pink and purple. Here's the bottom once again with the pastels throwing in that sky blue, but it still has a very vintage feel to it because of that pop of orange. And then we have the electric blue right in the middle. And we have two doors this time. Here is the first one. We have a little front gate and it leads to a little patio. I love it when houses have a transition into the actual house. And then we have the actual door to the house. First, let's head over to the living room. We have this corner couch here that looks very comfortable and it looks like we're sipping some tea. Polly did originate from the UK, so I wouldn't be surprised if that was tea. I also realized that since she did originate in the UK, this looks like the layout of a UK townhouse. And I know that because I have been watching a lot of UK shows and their homes have this kind of layout where it's really thin and it just has a very tight and cozy feel to it. And over here we have some cabinets. Those look like eggs in that little bowl. I don't know what those are. And then we have another cabinet here with a picture frame. Then on this side, we have the kitchen. There's a stove. We have an oven, a sink, and just some kitchen accessories that I don't really know what they are. Salt and pepper, some treats. Maybe that's a bar of soap. 
hard to tell. And here we have three sets of chairs. Then up the stairs, we get to the second level filled with more rooms. We have this long hallway. Here's a little old school phone for ya. Some red curtains with yellow polka dots. And on the outside, we can see some scenery of the great outdoors. And we do have several lights up in the ceiling. Here's some too. And some on the upper level. And then up these stairs, which look really cute and cozy. There's two sets here, and I love how it stops by the window. We get to the bedroom. She's got a cozy little bed, an old school TV with a really fat back, and a poster of Britney Spears. And we have a bunch of doors and cabinets here because we want to make good use of the space. And then up here, she's got a giant bathroom. Here's another cabinet. Here's a bathtub, toilet, and vanity. Here is Polly, and this is one of her more classic looks. The red and yellow McDonald's aesthetics. I'm loving it. She's got her classic curly hair, a headband, a dress with her bow tie. Come to think of it, why did she wear a bow tie? She also has this dog with a wide base, so he can just sit in the compact in those little oval shapes. And then she's got an orange cat. onto our last one, which is this bright yellow compact. This one is called Midge's Play School and is the only compact in the set to not star Polly Pocket herself. Another one that I love so much because of the pastel colors. You can also see how the second level just has so many little details. First up, we have this bright red gate, which opens up into the playground. We get this giant orange slide, which also has a little hideout for the characters. We have a little sandbox and we have a teddy bear right next to it. And all around here are beautiful bushes. There's a tree stump just randomly in the corner. There's also this little pond. And we have another cobblestone walkway that leads to the actual school. Over here is the classroom and we have some desks and chairs. This reminds me of my classroom in the Philippines where the back of the seat next to you is your table. That brought back a lot of memories just now. We have a clock in the corner and right outside we can see the playground. There's a swing set and then up here is the little nursery for the babies. There's a rocking horse. We have a stroller, some windows. There's a crib in the corner and we have a couple stick figure drawings and up here is Midge's bedroom. There's her bed with a a little tiny window and here's a little cabinet and here is her bathroom with again your typical bathroom stuff toilet sink not sure what that circular thing is i'm just gonna say it's a light and here is midge with her signature orange hair and freckles she's got her iconic bob haircut and here is the little baby and i just love the baby figures because they are so tiny and he's got a little yellow tuft of hair at the front and here is a little red toy truck This is also a very special set because this one actually came from my friend just this past weekend. Him and his wife were cleaning out their house and they found this. And I was surprised that it was in such good condition and the pieces were all there, it was complete, and they gave it to me completely free. So I am so glad that they happened to think of me when they saw this. The other reason it's special is I have two of them. This is my first duplicate vintage set. I bought this one from eBay and this is the one that came from my friend and they are actually different. So right off the bat when you see it, it looks like nothing is different. They're pretty much the same. But on the back, the one my friend gave me has the Made in China label and this one doesn't. And now I'm questioning if this is fake or something because actually all of the Bluebird compacts have a made in China label. For some reason, the one I got on eBay does not. The other difference is the babies. So this is the one we just saw, the one from my friend's compact. He is a different skin tone and he's got a little base so we can put him in the 
little pegs. And he's a little bit smaller and he doesn't have that base and he has a completely different skin tone. So again, I'm kind of questioning which is real, which is not. According to my sources, he is the accurate baby. And Midge is slightly different as well. She's got a different skin tone. This Midge has freckles. This Midge does not, but I'm thinking it might have just rubbed off. And on the bottom, this Midge has the 89 label. And this Midge is completely flat. So again, is this fake? I don't know. But anyway, I am so glad that my friend found this because now I can rest in peace knowing that I have a real one. But I'm also sad that I might have gotten a fake one on eBay. Maybe it's just a manufacturing error and sometimes it just happens, especially when you're buying on eBay. You buy it from people all over the world and who knows what version they got. And that is the Vintage Square Poly Pocket Compacts from 1989. These are truly classic. We can tell from the designs, from the color schemes, and I can't believe Polly is actually as old as the 80s, even if it's the late 80s. And thank you guys for watching this vintage Polly Pocket Showcase, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>